I hope Way Around goes everywhere that it can bless anybody that is visually impaired or blind. Armin told me that the biggest challenge he had was going into public spaces and not being able to get in those public spaces, especially if his wife was not there. Going into the restroom was one of the most scary things that I had to do. You've got people swarming around you and not really paying attention to you, and you're trying to find the facilities. I've always been a problem solver, and I love a challenge. And so Armin and I just decided as architects, we should take that on. Our mission for Way Around is to make public places totally natural and welcoming for people that are blind. Darwin and I actually met in, in school and when we were going to Texas Tech University in the early 70s. After we both graduated, we worked together in our, doing our internship under an architect out in West Texas in Andrews, Texas. And shortly after, Armin and I formed a business and we had an architectural business there for several years. And as our careers grew, we went on separate paths and really lost contact with each other for about 30, 35 years. I was working as an architect. There was something wrong with one of my eyes. I went to the ophthalmologist, and he told me that my optic nerve had become inflamed and that parts of it were dying. In about six weeks, I was almost totally blind in my right eye. About a year later, my left eye was doing the same thing. We got the, the inflammation stopped and, and saved some vision in my left eye. I found out that Armin was living right outside of the Dallas area, and so uh, my wife and I decided to stop and see Armin and his wife, and we met uh, at a restaurant one, one evening and reconnected, and, and it seemed like the, the decades had not really even been decades. They had only been weeks. When Armin and I first started talking about developing Way Around, he had some pretty tough requirements. He told me that he did not want to have to carry something in his hand. It's one thing to already have a cane in one hand, but to have another device such as an iPhone or something in your other hand, all of a sudden you don't have your hands to do anything. The Way Around system is actually installed in buildings, so it's just there. There are a lot of things that are placed on walls, on countertops, that a, a, a guide dog or a cane is not gonna give you the information about that. For example, a condiment station that has different types of uh, creamers or uh, different condiments that you might want for a sandwich. Way Around allows an individual to be able to use a public space very naturally by getting cues from some way besides vision. This system does not use languages necessarily. It is a common language of directions, of tactile information. The system is very universal, so we believe that Way Around will be able to be utilized worldwide and that it will become a standard. <laughs>